in again my wonderful subscribers and viewers today it's a sunday morning blessed sunday morning to everyone today i will be preparing some kidney and fried dumpling and fried planting guys this plant is from my tree but i'm not sure if it's very very um good have enough nutrients because the breeze blow it down before it was ready to pick so I pray that it's a good one still and I'm gonna do a fried dumpling this is my kidney I'm gonna tie it out in the meantime and then you're gonna see me clean it up so I'm gonna add some more water so it can tie it up so I can clean it guys and take you guys along now let me just put these are my seasoning for my um kidney I'll be using some fresh garlic, a lot of garlic, scallion, tomato, sweet pepper, hot scotch bonnet pepper, and some thyme. I will be using some jerk season, some soya sauce, some black pepper, a little browning, and some of um, my new rustery chicken seasoning. I might be using some um, all-purpose seasoning along. Okay, so now I have my flour. Have you seen it? I have my flour. So I'm going to add some um, baking powder inside there, like a tablespoon full inside here, one and a half tablespoon I'm using. Okay. I'm going to use a little tip of salt, not a lot. Okay. And you know, you can have a little sugar, but I'm not using any sugar, I cannot make it festival today. So I'm just going to uh, combine the baking powder and the salt inside of my um, contour flour. And the flour that I'm using is royal rose flour. Okay. And I'll be using cold ice water to make my dough. Okay. You'll get a um, crispier outer part, and inside of it will be soft, and that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm gonna just take my time and add a little tip of water, and then I'm gonna mix. I'm using the spoon at this point, guys. Okay, so I'm just combining the flour and everything now inside of my bowl. Okay. Once it starts to combine together, I'm going to use my fingers to uh, finish mixing the dough. Okay. okay. At this point now, I'm going to use my hands, my little fingers. My fingers are clean, guys. Okay. Use my fingers and put them together, squeeze them together. I'm making fried dumpling. So I'm kneading the flour now, guys. Mixing it up together. I just want to pick up all of my viewers and wonderful subscribers that has been supporting my channel so far. Blessings to everyone here and abroad. I want to also big up the uh, Cameron family. Let's pick them up. Queen Sheba, we got up to um, Whitney and Yvonne Kitchen and Dream Island Boss. Just want to big them up to guys and give them all the support guys. They're so lovely. I love to watch their channel to guys hope one of these days i can link them up also they go to dream island boss and also the other um youtubers called smith tv uh, junior adventures dng shotman and juna and stephanie are watching their channel to guys <laughs> Taking my little time, not to long rush or anything, and then I'm gonna let it soak, guys. Set so that when I'm ready to fry it, it's 
set. Not gonna be that good. I don't like to um knead it too tight. is ready guys so I'm gonna put it on so uh um, so can you just uh I come to you that I love to keep my surroundings as clean as possible okay can you miss is to God do this the um uh, where I'm doing the kidney I just wash my hands um, guys I need a camera more sometime you know to assist me so let me just move it over to this side make some space right here Cutting board. My knife. We're gonna clean it up now, guys. So I'm gonna put water, lime, and I'm gonna use some vinegar, guys. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut up my kidney into small pieces or portion. And I'm trying to take out the fats. I don't use the fats either, guys. You know that kidney has a strong scent, so we have to use the um, the vinegar and some limes. Some persons soak it in salt water also. You can also do that and get rid of the scent. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna just put some water there, a little water and some vinegar inside of it and watch guys how I clean my kidney. Let's rest the line inside there too. So I'm removing the kidney and I'm not using the fats or the skin part. These are for the dogs guys. I'm just doing a little, I'm not doing a lot. And this doesn't take long to um, cook. cook. I like, it usually take me like 15 minutes the most to cook. I don't want to overcook it or anything. It's gonna get too tough. And I'm using a lot of um, garlic inside of my kidney, along with some hot scotch bonnet pepper. I try to take out most of the fats off it. I remember today is Sunday and I'm going to church today. I have to be watching my time also, guys. But I'm not in a rush because, as I said, this doesn't take too long to prepare. Once I get the um, the kidney to clean up and season up. I might just cook it same time. I don't have time to let it marinate or anything. Okay. So I'm just taking you guys along this um, journey of how I prepare my kidney. I don't like it too big either, guys. I like them in small 
pieces. So this is what I'm talking. I tried to take out that right part. That's the fats from the kidney. And this is not local kidney either. I think this is the imported one. It's not really strong the scent. It's not really raw. try to take out as much of the bloody water from it. I know that causes the, the scent also, the rawness, the blood. So I try to wash it as maybe about four to five times to try to get rid of most of the bloody water. Some of the meaty part for the dogs, the guys. They are part of the family too. So I have to make sure they get something, some nutrients in their system too, guys. This is for just three persons. I don't eat a lot. Just put this aside. This is all the um, fats that I took off my kidney. So I'm gonna dispose that, give it to the dog afterwards. Okay, let me just rinse my kidney. Oh, there's a, I missed this part. So let me just remove it. It's not all of it you're gonna get to come off, you know, guys. But most of it I try to take off. Most of it. I'm gonna squeeze a lime on it. See, taking out the other water. I add a little vinegar inside there. I'm gonna add some more afterwards. And you know that the vinegar helps to um, clean up the pasta, guys. My lime's not quite here as it guys. They're coming in now. I, I try to water it as much as possible, like even twice a day, guys, because the time is very hot. And you see we're in drought season. I have to be watering my tomato plants. I will be giving you an update of my other plants and vegetables in another video. Put some more vinegar. To kill that scent okay all of that rawness and strong urinary scent it's gonna go now guys because of the lime and the um, vinegar okay so I'm gonna rinse it now guys this way I have to clear my kidney when I eat it you don't smell anything just I have the flavor of the garlic and the rest of my seasoning, guys. So I'm just draining off the excess blood of water off it. And if you're just joining in, welcome to Vibrant Style JA. Today is a blessed Sunday morning to everyone that is watching. Hope you guys are enjoying my video. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't um, subscribe as it, what are you waiting for? It is so free, guys. The class is free. I want love and blessing to everyone that has subscribed and comment so far. Remember to tell a friend to tell another 
friend of our Vibrant Style J.A. So we're going to go over to the where I'm going to put my seasoning, guys. Okay. Let me just drain it some more. This is my kidney clean and everything. I remove most of the fats, wash it with vinegar, and wash it with some lime juice. I'm gonna add some good little black pepper, not a lot. A little tip of browning. I'm using grace browning. Don't want to use a lot. So a little tip more. Okay, I don't want it to bitter or anything. A little tip of Chinese soya sauce. Not a lot either, guys. Don't want it to over salt or anything. But I know my measurement. I'm using some jerk season on it. Mmm, smelling nice. I'm gonna use some of my um rusty stir. I always can't pronounce this word. Rustistery chicken seasoning, guys. Okay, it has in garlic, um, cayenne pepper. That's the amount I'll be using inside there. Okay, and let us stir it up, guys. Smelling so nice, guys. And then I'm gonna add in my um, fresh seasoning inside there except for the um i'm leaving some of the pepper and thyme i'm gonna fry that inside of the oil with the garlic okay. sweet pepper is there too i use a lot of um fresh seasoning inside of my cooking okay I'm not using any pimento because you know that the drug season has in pimento seeds already. Look at this guy, so pretty. Look at that. Very beautiful. Then a stir up. Okay. I'm gonna get this clean up too, guys. Let me get a plate and a knife. Remember, I said the breeze blew it off the tree before time, so hopefully it is in good condition. It's very small. You generally have plantains are very big, guys. Look at it. Smelling nice, still, guys. So I'm just gonna slice it up because I'm doing fried planting. Those are the seeds, guys. You know, you could plant these seeds also, but it might take a bit longer. So we just use the um the the, the suckers instead to get more planting and banana. Okay, that's what I'm gonna fry also. Guys. Let me just rinse off my hands and get the pot ready now, guys. Here, I'm gonna put them in the compost afterwards. Okay, let me just check on my dough. Look how soft it is, guys. See that? So, I'm gonna make fried dumplings. Okay, 
we get my contrast set up. I'm gonna press my fry down here. Guys, I have to go get my napkin. Almost found there, but I don't take me long to cook or anything. But I heat up the pot. I need my oil. Using a lot of oil either, guys. Let me get my fork. Okay. Take you guys over this side. Okay, let me just show you again. So this is my seasoned kidney. I use jerk season. I use this one. Jerk season. Little Chinese soy sauce. Little tip of browning. And I'm, when I'm going to finish at the end, I'm going to put in some parsley and I use some black pepper. Okay. So once the oil is hot, I'm going to start doing my um, fried dumpling first. Okay. And then I'm going to do the um, kidney afterwards. Because usually I use the oil afterwards. Okay. So once that is heating up, I'm going to start doing up my dumpling, guys. Okay. I need to get another um, burner in, guys. My stove giving me a little challenge sometime. But I just put everything into God's hand. Okay. I do everything each day step by step okay so i'm just gonna form my dumpling from my dough into small pieces round it up guys okay i'm just pre-preparing them i didn't get much time to let it um set guys because of time and because i'm videoing it too guys i want to take you guys along Okay, you can shape it different, different ways to guys. Okay, I'm not making no um, cartwheels today. Just making some small ones. I don't like the big ones, guys. So once the oil is heated up, I'm going to start putting them inside there. It's about um, 6.15, about 6.15 on a Sunday morning, guys. I usually get ready to leave here by um, 9.30, the latest, to go to church. We go to church in Kingston, guys. Life in Christ Jesus Ministry. You guys need to check out their channel, too, guys. They have a YouTube channel, and the channel name is Life in Christ Jesus Ministries. Almost can't put them in. I remember I said I'm not doing a lot. I might have some bread with it too, guys. Toast bread. I don't like to cook a lot and then it wastes on them. You have to throw it away, guys. Or you have it in the fridge. Sometimes when I cook, I leave it in the fridge, but it will finish it. But like fried dumpling, not easy to reheat it up. So I try to just do the right amount. Okay, so I'm just gonna add them inside there now. So you just roll it, guys. Roll it, roll it. I press and roll. Roll and press. Yes. Okay. So I roll it. Give it a press, guys. And this is how I make my fried dumplings, too, guys. Okay. So I make big ones and small ones, different shape, different size. Okay. Oil is ready now. I did some curry chicken inside the pot, so 
my oil is looking yellow. So it's some curry fried dumpling, guys. I'm trying to look for a soft inner dough and outer will be crispy. I like to use the um, dot shape. This is what they call a dot shape part. They cut it, guys. Because of the curry, it make my dumpling have this color. And I think the baking powder too, guys. Okay, so we're just going to leave them to just do their thing. They're simmering in the oil. And turn them. I don't want them to burn. I use the low flame. And put one more inside there, guys. The curry inside the pot, you know, guys. I shouldn't use this pot like I had cook um, some curry chicken, so I give it a little. I don't know if you guys are seeing it look red, but it's okay. Sometimes I cover the pot also, guys, so it can steam and cook properly, guys. Okay, but I'm not going to do it today because usually when you cover it and to open it, the oil drops back in the pan and it starts to splash everywhere, guys. I so, um, put on my, um, Hopefully the, um, video. Okay, the video is still recording. Just in the meantime, putting away stuff. Inside the fridge. Once I open it, I keep it inside. Okay. Got my two lovely Julie mangoes from off my Julie tree. Oh, very nice. And look at this, guys. 
got some lime. This is a size lime. You try to get bigger limes than these. I'm going to make some nice lemonade. Okay, look at that. So amazing, guys. It's so, you are so blessed when you um, plant your own vegetables, guys. I'm talking, guys, I'm a dumplings. So you bet they want to burn, but they're not burning or anything. Coming up nicely. Just going to give these a few more minutes and then I'm going to take them out. Okay, let me just move my baby stuff and I'm going to um, start doing my um, kidney. Just gonna add some oil and, and the garlic and the pepper and my um, thyme inside there before I add my kidney. Okay, so I'm looking for that flavor. I'm not using a lot of oil. That's the amount I'm using. Stir it up inside there. Turn it around like that. Check on the um, dumplings. Can remove this one. Look at it, guys. Put it on the, the napkin to drain. So, guys, the outer part is crispy, and inside of my dough is soft. I tell you guys, if you don't take long you know, guys, to prepare. And I'm on time as usual. You can hear the crunchiness a while ago when I stick my fork inside there. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and add in the rest. Before I do that, let me add in my garlic and thyme and pepper
Guys, look at that beautiful. Almost ready to take them out, guys. Uh, my, my recording stopped for a few minutes, so I had to be checking on that not too long ago. I'm not gonna add any liquid inside here. This is the water that is spring, guys, from the tomato and the rest of seasoning, guys. So at this point, I'm gonna add in my parsley leaves. I might just add, add a little more liquid. Let me see how it's coming out. So I'm adding some parsley inside there. Take out my dumplings now. Scrunchy guys. So I need to soak a little. And they're draining off guys in the fire in the from the napkin. Gonna fry the um, planting now, guys. Add it inside there. I don't add a lot of water either. I add a bit soap. It sprays its own liquid inside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is very nice. Spicy. And you don't have no smell or anything, guys. Okay. Once you clean it properly with the lime and vinegar and season it properly. And the garlic and thyme. And, wow. It's my favorite my plant. You don't want to turn. Oops, I must get a little touch on the pot side burn. But I don't focus on it. But God is my protector and my healer. He's my greatest physician. There's no other God than Jesus Christ. He's the same today, 
yesterday and tomorrow and for the rest of the time nothing is impossible for God to do he is always there for you guys he always answer your prayers guys you just have to hold that faith one love I'm out of here guys I'm cooking up a storm guys you can see that I'm very very hot the heat guys from the stove and because I close up the windows I am hot I won't have to drink something cool before I have my tea wow kicking up the notch in the kitchen of vibrant star j a remember you know, guys give me a thumbs up guys even if the first time you watch my video remember to click that um, notification button and that bell and to subscribe guys please i want to reach more than 5000k trying to aim for the 10,000 soon sooner than i think but I only can do that through you guys, my supporters, and God will make it away from me too, guys. Okay? I don't know if any of you guys have any problem with the um, monetization or notice with my watch time hours. I notice that it's going down, but that my subscribers is going up. The subscription is going up. Well, I don't know what is happening. I lose like... Um, I was at 2,075 hours the other day and I realized I reached 1,902 since morning. I don't know if it's because I'm not putting out enough videos, I do mainly shorts. Hopefully somebody will comment in the comment section and please advise me on how to move on, move about that. Okay, big up to tea bag, tea bag adventure. That's another arm. Um, YouTuber, one of um, Color Sweet TV team mate, T Bad, is the one that sometimes gives me advice. So I'm beginning him up again from Vibrant Style JA. Go over to his channel, guys, and continue to support his channel, guys. He's a good guy, humble and everything, guys. We have to help one another, you know. I'm big up to um, Cameron family, Queen Sheba, even and with me kitchen and don't forget the daddy dream island boss blessing guys blessing i love the karaoke hopefully one of these days i come and link up you guys okay one love blessings check them out guys we have to help one another you know guys we are one big happy family okay is it now guys I'm, you're talking and don't even remember my um my kidney but it's ready now guys look at that that is it you know guys remember i said i don't like a lot of gravy so that is what i'm working at and this is it now guys this is my kidney okay thanks for watching remember to like and share and subscribe comment tell a friend to tell another friend about vibrant star ja You know, guys, I think it's not even seven o'clock as yet. See, I tell you, don't take me long, you're not preparing anything. Okay, that is it now, guys. Let me just bring it over close. Just remove the stuff out of the way. Show you guys.
nor anything like that guys. Okay, I'm about to do like a lot of gravy. And if we need gravy, we just, I can just add a little tip inside here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna turn back the stove on and finish. Let that come on. Good to go guys. Fry planting that the, the, the every breeze blow off my tree when it was ready, and these are my lovely dumpling fried dumplings. Look at these different shapes, guys. It's hot, you know, guys. See that? Look at it. So, I'm gonna consume it now. So, one love, blessing again to everyone. Here we go. Bye. I'm out of here. Have a wonderful, blessed Sunday. Bye. I'm out of here. Thumbs up again. The vibrant star. Hey.